there YouTubers, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, I know it's been quite a while since I've had a video out and I do apologize for that but uh, I've just been uh, quite swamped with a whole bunch of other things especially around this Christmas season. But uh, I have something exciting I want to show you. Uh, it's not too often that I get to upgrade or I should say increase my tools and uh, here in, in the micro shop and I have been able to get a new tool. It's actually two tools. I have the ability to do multiple tasks with this tool and uh, it's it's something that I've wanted for a long time. I always thought, hey, the next tool that I was going to get, I always thought it would be a drill press, but uh, no, I decided to get something else. So keep on watching and I'll show you what it is. Okay, and here is my newest tool to come into the micro shop. This is a six inch buffer made by Central Machinery, and uh, I believe uh, that's a uh, Harbor Freight brand. Uh, no Harbor Freights that I know of in Canada. I found this on eBay and actually got a pretty good deal for shipping. And uh, so, anyway, this man, I'm excited excited about this new, uh, new tool to have in the shop. Now, the, the second part of this tool is what you see here. Uh, running on to, on on the, the the buffer. These are paper wheels. These are paper wheels, and what these are used for is for you use for sharpening a knife. Paper wheels used for sharpening a knife. It's really kind of like a hard cardboard, actually, but they call them paper wheels, and they're made by a company called Razor Sharp Edge Making System. And uh, Steve Botteroff, uh, anyway, I, I think that's how you say it, Steve Botteroff, something like that. But the website is sharpeningmadeeasy.com. I'll put a link uh, below in the description. But, uh, man, this is a n really neat way to, to sharpen a knife. It uh, takes a little bit of, a, a little bit of effort to, to figure out the, the whole process. But once you get it started, um, I was uh, sharpening several knives and was really happy really happy with the way it worked um, this is the grit side of the wheel and it comes pre-charged with uh, the the grit already on there they do give you a little container here um, eventually to uh, use to re reapply the the grit side to that wheel and uh, also there's some wax that they they recommend to apply to this side um, this side here <clears throat> I'll shift it over just a little bit so you can see uh, this side right here um, is just you just use some white uh, rouge here and uh, on this slotted wheel and then it uh, really helps uh, helps as you uh, do the final polishing on the edge the final buffing of the edge of the, the the knife and so like I said wow this is uh, really really awesome to be able to have this and I'm probably just going to leave this as a dedicated sharpening system and uh, just make make this you know leave it on once uh, you know it takes a little bit to get the wheels balanced and tightened and and uh, set just right now one thing that's different I took this base off <clears throat> I, I, I took the took the bottom off it's hard to show you exactly here but I uh, took the took the bottom off and what I did is I rotated this base around so this buffer is actually spinning a different way okay now it's, it's spinning the opposite way typically many of you probably have a, a grinder bench grinder or buffer typically they spin towards you like this okay but I was reading in uh, some paperwork about this system especially uh, specifically the guy that I got it from and he said turn the base flip the base around so that the, the grinder is running away from you so that the grinder ro runs away from you and then take your uh, knife and you work with it it takes a little bit to get the angles and you just kind of work with it and just uh, slowly and carefully sharpen sharpen the knife starting first with uh, with the right hand wheel the grit wheel and then over to the final polishing buffing side to just get that uh, the edge just as sharp as it can be so anyway yeah it's um i know kind of different but uh it's it's a good it's a good system i really really highly recommend it and uh you know i uh, i am very very excited to have this here in the shop and so Anyway, man, it's awesome. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my new sharpening setup there. I'm really pumped to be able to have that. Um, you know, wow, it uh, works really well. I just took a whole bunch of knives and uh, took a little practice. Um, I still have to perfect it, I think, but uh, I'm really happy. It cuts down on sharpening time so much. Now, um, to be honest with you, I almost gave up knife making because it took me forever to get a knife sharp. Like, I was, was literally spending six seven maybe even eight hours on one knife to sharpen it uh, using this system here smith's knife sharpening system okay now it worked i, I could get a knife sharp um using these these diamond sharpeners here and uh you know it has a special little jig you can get the angle uh get the angle just right i don't i'm not knocking this system at all but it just takes forever it takes forever the way i was doing it and so almost gave up the hobby and uh you know just because of the, the the time involved in that and so anyway i am really happy that, that i have this uh paper wheel set up here on this six inch buffer and i'm just going to leave it uh, probably leave the paper wheels on there i could take it off and put some buffing wheels on there if i want to but uh i was able to take this knife after uh probably four minutes and get this knife sharp now, some of you probably remember this knife. It's been uh, in the process for a long time. But uh, anyway, I was able to, to get the knife uh, sharp. I, that, and that's uh, grinding the, the micro bevel using the, the, the grit side of the wheel and then using the paper side of the wheel to, to shine, the, uh, shine it up, buff, buff up, the, uh, uh, buff up the, uh, the bevel there and get it super sharp. And so it, it, I tested it. it. It cuts paper really really pretty good and so anyway i'll probably uh you know maybe touch it up just a little bit more but so much faster and uh, so anyway all in all very happy with it and uh very happy with this new setup thank you for watching the video hope you're having a great christmas season and uh remember keep christ in your christmas we will see you next time here on new man explorer